go. The 60th wedding anniversary, Rob and Valerie Dick Handicap. Stand by, they're set, they're racing. Zuccaros had missed the start, but Salamart won the break quite comfortably over the Kelt. Out pretty well is Electric Light. She'll be up there, but being bustled forward now. And they're starting to cross her. Reykjavik and Lord Sherwood are going to zip up there. Royal Missile, Zuccaros are back in the field, and they're also in the company of Big Caroline. Leaving the back, 900 to travel, and Salamart, the last start winner of, of course, uh, the race, the feature sprint up there in Broome, the Broome Sprint, and took them down the side back at Belmont Park by three quarters of a length. Lord Sherwood at his first run in more than 500 days. Reykjavik's up on the outside, running third, but three deep. Zuccaros, much handier than usual. Then the Kelt, the middle electric light, three deep now. Pike decides to follow Reykjavik coming to the corner. Strung up Big Caroline down on the fence. You'll need a bit of luck. And last of all is Royal Missile. On the point of the home corner, they'd straightened up. Lord Sherwood headed off Salamart. Over on the outside, Reykjavik electric light called upon. Behind them the Kelt, Zuccaros. Further back, Royal Missile, Big Caroline at the 250 and Lord Sherwood tackled now by Reykjavik and Electric Light. It's Electric Light, though, dashing up at the 100-metre mark, grabbing the lead from Reykjavik. Starts to extend Electric Light. She comes away, and there's four for Pike after six races down. Too good for them, Electric Light over Reykjavik. Big Caroline got home OK late to grab third from either the Kelt, then Salamart, Zuccaros, Lord Sherwood, and trailing them in last is Royal Missile. They just keep rolling on home for Pike. Electric Light... Number five, another one for Adam Durant for the day as well. His stable having a, a super afternoon. Of course, uh, they uh, saddled up Argoon to victory to win the maiden. Pagan Image won the Mrs. Max handicap race four on the card. Uh, Battle Storm took out the Amelia Park handicap race five. And now they've just saddled up four successive winners. The Durant stable, the Vital Equine Mare. She had a beautiful run all the way. Hunters couldn't have asked for anything more. And uh, Pike has delivered it once again with his fourth on this afternoon's program. Over six, Reykjavik, Lucy Warwick, Miata Schiller entire. And third placing will go to Big Caroline. She got caught up behind them when the sprint went on by Blackfriars, trained by Pete and Maggie Adresco, ridden by Mitchell Pateman. Even money, $2 for the win, $1.04 a place, one thirty, one dollar ninety, $1.90. And uh, margins, three quarters of a length by one and a quarter. 1.12.68 the time there, 1.12.68 and uh, no other details to hand at this particular stage. All right, let's uh, see where the uh, winner is over at the 1300. Britt Taylor is once again with uh, W Pike. 34.28 the sectional. Thanks, Darren. It's becoming a, a very familiar sight for me. William Pike brings up his fourth winner of the day. When you came to the races today and had a look on paper, did you think you had this sort of day? Uh, I thought I'd had two, definitely. Um, but, you know, getting a few of these others, I, I was worried about whether she, you know, when her prep was going to end, and it hasn't. So a few things have definitely gone my way, and, and it's nice to have four, and, yeah. This horse, when you think back to the beginning of her prep, it's quite amazing just the preparation that she's had. She just hasn't put a foot wrong. Absolutely. She is an absolute darling. Uh, makes us look good. And, you know, as I said, she just gives you 110% no matter what. It's just it's really nice to ride a horse that tries as hard as, as what you do yourself. You must have been pleased to find the back of Reykjavik as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there was a bit of pressure there early and, and I made sure I didn't go to the fence. And then when Reykjavik was caught out wide, I was like, oh, this is perfect, I'll get on his back. And, and uh, Reykjavik fought hard, but luckily enough, I had to sit on him and was able to get over him. She was just too good in the end. Can you make it five? Well, I've got a couple more rides there, and um, I think I can hopefully find one of these others to get up. But, uh, look, I've had, yeah, I've had some pretty nice ones already. They were definitely my best, and uh, these next ones, I've really got to bring my A game. Oh, the punters will be cheering you home. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Yeah, just another day at the office for Willie Pike. Another day at the office for Adam Durant. Four winners on the trot now at headquarters here for WA Racing. But Electric Light, that's eight starts, six wins. She's a winner. Yeah, all in the first prep. Amazing effort for a, for a filly, to be honest. We put her through a pre-training ranks and everything, and uh, we've had a few different opinions, and they said Saka. And I agreed when she came to me, and I put her to the... You know, we put the pressure on her and, and put the... Uh, put her to the sword and I thought well this is not much chop and then we trialled her and Willie said oh no there's something here I went oh righto mate and then uh, yeah away we went she just kept improving so it just goes to show you know a little bit of patience and 
sometimes they can uh, turn things around because certainly uh, she wasn't one in our uh, A group at the start. With the surprise of how well she has done in her first preparation, does she have enough time to go for a quick break and maybe is she good enough to take on some of the better mares in our bigger races during the summer? Does she deserve a crack at those kind of races? No, uh, look, yeah, she doesn't need to. Um, basically, she might have another run. She might even go to Cal for the Hannon Jet. We'll have a look at how, uh, how things pan out. Um, but where she'll head is towards the, I think it's called the Sheila Gwynn and the Marjorie Charleston yep. now. They're her, um, her two races, 12 and a 14. They'll be perfect for her in the autumn. So that's where we'll head after, um, after a break. And you just never know how they're going to come back, these horses. So... Uh, she hasn't got the best breathing and she makes a hell of a rattle in her work and they, she's made up a spare part. She's nothing fancy to look at. Her head's about the size of a sort of a uh, bar fridge and she's uh, about 15 hands. So you know, she's just a, one of those little freaks that just comes through the grades and does a fantastic job. So she'll have maybe one more and then go to, um, go to those races and then maybe progress to the Bunbury Stakes or something. How many more winners for the day? Oh, you know, I'd, I'd like to say two more would be good, but yeah, look, I'd be pretty happy to walk away with fours or a pretty good result by the, you know, the whole team at home. They've just done an amazing job to do it twice in, in a fortnight. Uh, I'm really proud of everyone and, uh, you know, the carnival's looking good coming up with what we've got trialling this week. Job well done. Thank you. There is our Premier Trainer, Adam Durant. We'll head off to Chartin now on Sky Thoroughbred Central.